talked on Wednesday, November 1st. Uh, we will go ahead and call this special meeting of the City Council to order. We'll waive the Pledge of Allegiance and move to roll call. Council Trump? Present. Council Rosenberg? Current present. Council Schatz? Present. Council West? Present. No, Council Myers is not here. Let the record reflect we do have a quorum to conduct a business. Are there any changes to the agenda? There are not. I'd seek a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Moved by Schatz. Second. Second by Bosenberg. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. That motion carries. Right. Item 5, request for hearing on order to abate nuisance. We will start with 239 North Main. Welcome, sir. Yeah. So, thanks for joining us. We can also talk about both of them at the same time, but we'll, we'll talk the shop first. So, you did receive your letters uh -huh. uh, regarding the junk and junk vehicles. So your timeline right now is through the the final notice was sent, correct me Chris, October 5th? Yes. Okay. So that was a 30 day notice, so you have through November 5th to abate the junk and junk vehicles. Yeah, but there's five of them that have uh, insurance, license. But if, we've also, you'll note in the pictures, we do have some that are full of garbage and debris. And that also well, we qualifies. started. Uh, I started to clean that out. My daughter was going to come up last week, but she wasn't feeling good. So I did what I could, and I've been real busy. So, okay. so even if it's operable, having any kind of broken glass or it does say habitat for animals or insects uh, would still qualify as, as junk and junk vehicles. So those well, would need to be cleaned three out. Three of them up there are still customers. There's one up in the driveway up at the house, and two down at the shop that are customers. So They still need to be licensed and operable. Yeah. So, these are pictures from this morning, the pictures you were seeing were before. So what we're looking at right now, these vehicles, especially this one that's sitting around this wrecker, mm -hmm. what's, what's, this wrecker has got a flat tire, it has junk on the inside, and it looks like it's not, hasn't moved in over six months. Well, you're probably right, but... Uh... Uh, I cleaned off the back and I started to clean out the front. That's what I said. I just got busy. I didn't know it had a flat tire though. Okay, and the two vehicles, there's like a, some sort of emergency vehicle and a yellow that, bug? That emergency vehicle, that is a customer's vehicle. Okay, but both of those do not have plates. They don't have legal plates on them. I guess it didn't really, I didn't think it made any difference. I mean, it's zone commercial. Uh, way back when, I guess when uh, Duford was the uh, mayor, we had a, uh, uh, actually Lynn County, uh, remember that? Mm -hmm. And they told me I could have six vehicles in the driveway, six vehicles at the shop, uh, and down along the side, and the shop didn't really make any difference. They were licensed as long as they had glass and, and uh, tires on them. So. But without plates, they're not licensed. I mean, they would have to have plates on them. Well, they all, all have got plates that I know. The ones that's got the... Uh, the paper plates, that's Sandra's car, so. Sandra and John's. They got a dealership in, uh, in Ely. So why aren't the cars there? Well, because I've been going to work on them. That's what I say. I've just been busy. I haven't, got, I haven't had the time. I know, I'm just for the record, I know both of these vehicles have been here for a year. Both of whose? These vehicles in the back that you've had have been here for a year. Well, I didn't think it had been that long, but if you say so. <laughs> Are those two licensed? No. And there's some junk around the back yet. Um, so. Well, I have another building I've, I've been going to put up too if I get a little time to cover all that in the back. Okay. But it's not right now, so we need to get it cleaned up. Well, you got tarps over the stuff in the back, don't you? Some tarps of it. or whatever it is. You know. Yeah, this is falling apart, though. It's just a infested area. Yep. And, you know, for all kinds of stuff. So, you know, we've been we've been through this before. I know, but what's really difficult? Nobody does anything about next door. So. They've gotten notices too, so that's yeah, we, this we, is about you. We enforce.
enforce uniformly, and so that's that's also part of it. If we don't enforce on your properties, then, then we get that same response. Well, I'll look at A and B, and now, you know, how do we enforce across the entire city? If everyone's lots had this many vehicles broken down, full of garbage, we, we have a mess on our hands, so we need to make sure the stuff's cleaned up. The daughter goes up yesterday, she said, whatever you decide, and she take care of anyway, so. So, as I mentioned, the timeline is through, current timeline is November 5th, which is this coming Sunday. Do I get an extension? This is... Are you talking I mean, about getting rid of the stuff behind and the cars by that day? Yes, the junk and the That's junk That's why vehicles. I say, do I get an extension? That'd be a pleasure of counsel. That's why we're here for this hearing. I would say, I mean, we've had you've had 30 days, and I've not seen anything transpire in 30 days. So I don't know what kind of extension's going to make a difference. Well, but that's what I said. The daughter hasn't been hasn't feeling good, and so she, her and her husband are going to come up, and they went gambling somewhere on vacation and, and busy. So. Okay. What kind of extension is going to make a difference? Well, give us a little more time. Well, how much more time is what I'm asking? Well, I don't know. How about another 30 days? So that would put us December 5th. I also know we've had uh, concerns if we get into the winter months that it's then difficult to clean things up because of the weather conditions. So I don't want to go too far. I feel like there could have been some good faith in cleaning out the garbage out of the vehicles and, and shown some kind of progress in the first 30 days. Um, but again, that's pleasure of counsel. What's your appearance on what do you think is going to happen in the next 30 days? You're going to get all this cleaned up or none of it? Or what's your anticipated? Well, you just have to have my word that it will be in another 30 days. So. But what, what's, it gonna, what's it going to look like in 30 days? That's my question. Well, we'll have to make room for, you know, for pulling them out of there if that's what you want. Yeah, well, just keep, you just keep adding to it. <laughs> you don't get rid of anything, you just keep adding to it. You know, everything's I been covered over and you just, you got more stuff laying around. What do I, what do I add? Well, it was all covered over at one time. Well, I well, when we went through it, when we went through this the last time, you know, you covered it over. It hasn't moved. You know, you still got more stuff. Yeah, but the last time, a uh, guy told me that everything was fine. Well, you know. And the only thing that's been added since then is the boat so I know. Well, this, this, if you look at the picture right there, this has been added right here. And there is... Oh, there was stuff there back is, there before, but I just covered it up. Okay, well, then there is stuff that's alongside of this building that is also that has been added. And there's several new vehicles since then. And there's the several time. new vehicles since then. And most of these vehicles have debris or garbage inside them. Several new vehicles? What would that be? Since the last time we abated? Because we abated three or four years ago. So. Well, I didn't think it had been that long because. I thought it was just before Guy left. Because mm -hmm. Danielle was still here. <coughs> the guy didn't have the guy didn't have the say so. Yeah. He should not have said anything or you know, it, it isn't up to him to make the decisions on what what's there and what isn't. Truck and dumpster and a crew remove it all. And a crew remove it all. <clears throat> so, whether that's our manpower or if we have to hire someone, which we don't have the manpower right now. So, we'd have to hire someone. So, we'd have to hire someone. And how does that bill get paid? It gets a 
suspect to Mr. Sloan. Okay. On his taxes. Uh, he can. We. I believe we start with an invoice that he can choose to pay, okay. and within, I think we put a 60-day limit on that, and then it goes to the taxes. I'd like to not have to go in and clean it up. I'd like to not spend our time doing it. Well, so if you think you can get, get through it in 30 days. Yeah. Can you get it done in 30 days? Sure. will be removed. Last time we were in there, there were a bunch of tires and some stuff that was a little bit more difficult to get rid of. I feel like with the vehicles, um, it should be easy enough to get those out of there, get them cleaned up. So. Yeah, well, it looks like we've got some tire debris here. Uh, oh, it, was, it, was, it was dump truck loads of tires yeah. last time. You're using it to hold your tarps down with. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what and then I don't want to see you throwing the tarp on this stuff, yeah. and then saying, "Now, yeah, well, that gets me by." Now well, it's got to get cleaned up. Can't well, be throwing. These can't two, be throwing tarps on. The two old buildings that were in the back, those have been there for probably 15 years. Those tarps were good, <clears throat> but the stuff they got now is. Whew, I had to put a new one on, on the one up front. So if I'm going to keep those buildings, I'm going to cover them with like tin or you know a different type of material. Yeah, well, them, them, them aren't green, buildings, green. they're just those, they're, them, them aren't buildings. Those structures that have tarps over them, you're calling those buildings? Well, storage. Well, is, it, is it for okay. the ordinance, they have to be a lockable? That is new ordinance, yes, they have to be securable. <coughs> so how are these securable? It's a quick fix to, to get it's, by. It's not a fix, yeah. You know, she is. Well, what is it the time? What is a quick fix? Yeah. It's not. They're not buildings. And that's what we're running into. But we'd have to check Chris if those are grandfathered. Okay. How many of these have been sent out again? You know? Notices? Yeah. Um, he's I know this is the final one. But mm -hmm. Yeah. With, with his, we set that up with the lawyer last time, that it's one notice, okay. but in this case he's received, um, yeah, this one. Oh, it was on two different locations. Right. Okay. Because it's considered a repeat. you got to set your priorities. You can say you've been busy, you haven't been able to get to it, but, you know, when you've got a, a notice in front of you, you know, you need to, you need to, that needs to take priority over some stuff to get it done. I guess I would, I would lean towards maybe the 30-day extension with no exceptions from here on out. And then and the next abatement, if we have to do a nuisance abatement again, there won't be any exceptions. That's what I would So we would start the abatement <coughs> process December 6th? That's more than fair. That's more than fair. Well, thank you. Okay. I mean, I think we understand this is going to happen December 5th or whatever. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I, yeah. And even in the future, I mean, if it starts building up again, that's it. A motion for 30 day extension with no further extensions or exceptions? Yeah. Motion by Bosenberg. Second. Second by Trum. Any further discussion? And this is for 239 North Main. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. <coughs> All right. Uh, similar situation 101 North Street. So this is a house. Primarily, this is vehicles. There are a few tractors along the tree line, um, but primarily, this is just the vehicles. Again, ensuring that they are licensed, free of debris. So it's going to be much the same. I would get, venture you'd like 30 days there as well. Oh, that'd be nice. Okay. Any questions from council? full of garbage. The truck is and that is as well. And this has got stuff in the back of it this morning. And this vehicle right here is completely full. So this is mostly vehicles here? Yes. You own all those vehicles then? Uh, well, that's what I said. Some of them are... Uh, well, I can't tell. What, what's up there that you own? Uh, the Ford, that's uh, Dan... That great Ford? Yeah, the Ranger. That's it? Some of somebody else's? That's a customer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the one ahead of it is a customer. I own the Toyota, the red Ford pickup, and the Mazda. And, which, one, uh, which one's the, the, the Mazda? The red Ford pickup, what's in front of that? Uh, that's the Explorer. That's, and that's yours? No. That's, that's John and Sandra's and the, and the Buick's John and Sandra <coughs> from Ely. This one's got a dealer plate on it, so it's insured. And the one in front of it, I'm going to drive that this winter, and so we're going to transfer that sometime this week, and so it'll be licensed and insured. Are those operable now, and then you just need to be worked on? Uh, no, all of them run. Well, why don't you take them back to their owners for a while, so they get a chance to work on them? Well, the the Ranger, I thought you have was three of them to work on. You, it doesn't look like you move very fast. <laughs> I mean, you know. And then the one on the left is what, like a Buick or something? Yeah. And that's yours? No, no, that's the uh, John and Sanders. That's got a, their, that's their dealer plate that's on it. I'd suggest you take those cars back to the dealer until you get a chance to work on them. That solves half the problem there. Well, I can do that. And pull one up at a time when you can work on it. Okay, yeah. fine. If it's sitting there, it's not being worked on. Yeah, that's fair. So if you got rid of those vehicles that you don't own, how many do you still have there that have stuff junk in them? Well, the Toyota and... Uh, which, which one are you calling the Toyota? The, the one in front the of the, 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 in front of the red pickup. Okay. Yeah. That's like a Matrix or something then? Uh, it's a RAV4. Okay. And that has stuff in it? Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I was in the, in the process of cleaning things out, but that's what I said, it just didn't quite make it, so. Well, what's it take you to clean them out? Get well, a dumpster? The extension will help. That'll give me time to clean everything out. What are you storing these? Picked up and, and take, the, take the other ones back down to Ely. But, yeah. So, what are you storing these vehicles? Well, I guess there's a little bit of everything. For instance, what? Well, like the... I mean, I, you know, I can walk by there, I can see junk in there, but you know, I can't go and see what kind of stuff you're storing. And I'm just curious what it is. Well, I guess I really never took an inventory, but there, I know one of them's got an air tank in and tools, and there's a little bit of everything. So. Yeah, but you can't get, I mean, you're not going to use it if you can't get to it. You know, I mean, it's like, you know, I mean, it's, you're not going to empty that <coughs> into a tool that's laying on the floor. You know, it's just going to, you just not. Where you need a dumpster and start throwing stuff. Well, that's what Sandra told me yesterday. She just bring the, the truck and the trailer up that, you know, that we used for the little house when we went through it. So. Well, I've asked three different people for help, and the only one I get is from down to Ely. So I'll have to rely on them. So. You think I have to hire somebody to help you? Well, I was going to hire them. I, I mean, I guess I was going to pay them. It wasn't just a free deal, but that didn't pan out either. So. It's going to cost you some money if the city has to take care of it. Sounds like he's requesting extension on both. Yes, I would. I propose we give him an extension, thirty days, to clean this up, get the junk out, get the cars out, and it's going to be in compliance where we update in thirty days. At one hundred and one North Street. Yep. Okay. Motion by Trump. I'll second it. Second by West. I got your name first. Yeah. yeah. Any further discussion? You understand what that is, don't you, Keith? Okay. Uh, we're trying to be as lenient as, you know. Yeah, that's what they said. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care good weather. you got a lot to do. Uh, well, it's not a first. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carries. So December 6th, that's the day. It's not cleaned up. Hope they aren't frozen down. Right. Item 6, discuss date and time for other hearing requests as needed. Chris, have you gotten any other requests for other outstanding nuisances? I have not. Alright, any final comments from Council? Hearing none, I would seek a motion to adjourn. So moved. Moved by Bosenberg. Second. Second by West. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. We are adjourned at 11.23.